Hi there and welcome back. Around this time, 20 years ago, I was in a state of limbo. Okay. I was waiting patiently for my cochlear implant to be switched on. So during this very week, 20 years ago, I was in silence. Okay. So I was waiting very patiently for my implant to be activated. But since then, another important date has been added to the annual calendar. And that is International Cochlear Implant Day, which is today, February the 25th. International Cochlear Implant Day was first set up in 2005. And it's certainly a date in my diary every year. So what's it all about? International Cochlear Implant Day is an opportunity to acknowledge the impact that cochlear implants have had on our lives. And it's also an opportunity to reflect and to appreciate every single decibel of sound that make up our world. I certainly wouldn't choose to go back to a life without hearing. Anyway, it was in the late 1970s that the first ever cochlear implant procedure took place. And imagine Back then, in order to hear, you would have to visit the centre and plug in to the sound processor in order to hear. Back then, sound processors were the size of a room. So you could not take that room home with you. Nowadays, the sound processor is as small as what's on my ear here. Okay, Isn't that just amazing? Even in the last 20 years with my cochlear implants, the technology seems to be improving all the time. And I was thinking I could go on and on about my own experiences. But today I've invited a few of my online friends to tell us about how cochlear implants have impacted their life. Let's have a listen, shall we? So first up, we have Adrian from France who tells us that having a cochlear implant helps him to be truly himself. Thanks for that, Adrian. Next up, we have Colin in the UK, who says his cochlear implant allows him to fully participate, live and work in a hearing world. Thanks for that, Colin. Next up is this lovely quote from Deb in the United States. For 31 years, Deb had no hearing, but two weeks after activation, she was able to have phone conversations, hearing her daughter's voice for the very first time ever. Carrie from Belgium really brings it home when she tells us that her cochlear implants help her to regain what she felt she had lost, and that was an ability to believe in herself again. That totally resonates with me, and thank you for sharing that with us, Kari. Meanwhile, Mumed from Algeria told me that the cochlear implant journey is a wonderful journey from the world of silence to the world of sound. Thank you, everybody, for your contributions. Your stories continue to inspire all of us. So wherever you are today, I hope you take some time to appreciate those hearing moments. If you're thinking that a cochlear implant might be the right thing for you, don't delay, join us. We're waiting for you. Before I leave you today, there's another date that's worth putting in your calendar or your diary. And that's March the 3rd, which is World Hearing Day. That's when you'll be hearing from me again. Normally, I like to end these clips with an inspirational quote, but there was one particular comment that one cochlear implant user left me with, and I would like to share that with you today. Have a great day, wherever you are. Take care. <laughs>